With Faith Staley now, we're off on what you might call a journey of the heart. Hi. <laughs> Once a year, a lucky few get the chance to actually visit Hope Valley. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. An early 20th century town on the Canadian frontier with a church, a general store, and a big heart. Most of the time, the only way folks get to visit here is to watch the place on TV. What a difference a few weeks have made to our little town. You see, Hope Valley is the set of the Hallmark Channel show, When Calls the Heart, a show that takes pride in the fact that it's something of a throwback. There's a real desire for heartwarming entertainment. It's something that I think all of us really want in our lives. My mom says she's glad you're here. I'm glad to be here too. Erin Krako plays a school teacher who 10 seasons ago came to a town then named Coal Valley that was recovering from a mine disaster. Send thy Holy Spirit to comfort and strengthen us. Slowly, with twists and turns and loves gained and lost, the town and she grew up together, helping one another like a family. I hope she can feel the love. I'm sure she can. And viewership grew too. And while she may be the show's star, that's not how she sees it. I am, I am one piece of the heart of the show because we are a show about community. And I think that we wouldn't be Hope Valley, we wouldn't be When Calls the Heart without all of the members of this community. Members of the When Calls the Heart community call themselves Hardies. They are some two million strong. Fans organize online and meet in person in local chapters, like Pat Conley and Celia Sumrall, who became friends through their love of the show. It really gave me an opportunity to meet a whole lot of new people. I told you I cry easily. <laughs> What makes you emotional when you talk about it? I love the show but just simply because I like the faith. I love the family atmosphere. I love the way the community comes together. Our world is very divided right now. Hope Valley works through that and they talk to each other and they get over it. I wanted to tell you if Faith should come by and check on you. I don't. And when the beloved character Rosemary struggled to finally have a baby at the same time she grieved her own mother, Conley saw some of her own story on screen. That is me, so that hit me really hard. It helps you see that other people have these situations in your life that affect you for life sometimes, but that you can get over them and, and make it through. The show is based on the writing of Jeanette Oak, who herself grew up on the Western Plains of Canada. Her Christian romances have sold more than 30 million books. What surprised you the most about Hardy's? Where all they come from and still understand one another. You know, we come from different cultures and different areas of the world, and yet we have that common human need of understanding, working together, feeling, feeling accepted. That accepted, I think, is a pretty big word. For those of you who don't know, I live in Puerto Rico. And so it might not be surprising that Hardys show up for each other in ways large and small. When Hurricane Maria devastated Jelsey Freitez's community in Puerto Rico, Hardys from all over stepped up. They just came together, created a website so everybody could see what was needed, and they just started uh, mailing me things like canned food, batteries, and I feel like God used the Hardys to help me out. Not just me, but I was able to bless others with what I received from the Hardys. I had never experienced something like this, this outpouring of love. This sounds just like Hope Valley. Yeah, definitely. The Hardys in that moment exemplified what Hope Valley means. Although When Calls the Heart may be fictional, Jeanette Oak says the effect the show has had is very real. There's lots of places in our world, even in our busy cities and whatnot, where you don't know if you're accepted, you don't have a place to really fit, you don't have anyone to fill that spot in your heart. 
And I think that's why this show has touched so many hearts. We were made to belong to one another, support one another.